You're watching Alaska's News Source. How old is it? That's an ever important research question. How old is that bone, that village site, the soil exposed by that recent winter storm? Eric Solt looks at the impact a new radiocarbon dating lab in Fairbanks is set to have on Arctic research. Having an instrument like this on the front lines of Arctic environmental change is, um, is critical. When President Biden signed House Resolution 4366 into law in March, he changed Arctic research in Alaska. Senator Murkowski included three and a half million dollars in the bill, money to build the first radiocarbon dating lab in Alaska. That will cover the cost of the instrument uh, and it'll cover the cost of the retrofit for the lab. It will take about two years to get the lab set up at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Not only do we get to date material, but we also get to advance some of the techniques by having our own instrument here. Its impact to research going well beyond dating fossils. There is many researchers from very different disciplines, from geology, archaeology, biology, across the state university system that are using um, radiocarbon dating. As well as state and federal agencies. Currently, samples are sent out to be tested. When we send our samples out to a lab in the lower 48, we have to actually um, pay a more expensive external rate. This in-state lab will save research money. Any particular core might take 10, 10 analyses, depending on the time span that it represents. You know, you multiply $500 by 10, you multiply it by 10 sites, you, you're very quickly starting to ramp up um, pretty big budgets just for radiocarbon dating. And having dates helps track environmental changes. We can also use radiocarbon dating for coastal erosion efforts. We can use it for studying permafrost dynamics, many of the things that are very specific to our environment in the, in the Arctic. The lab can help determine when mammoths disappeared from mainland Alaska. It can show the movement patterns of people 3,000 years ago, and it can help map changing patterns in our climate. It's important to understand the past in order to place the present environmental changes that we're experiencing in some kind of context. Eric Soule, Alaska's News Source.